Welcome to the FA Hockey Pro League. The Perth Hockey Stadium is the venue for the second match of this day as night has very much fallen here in Perth in Western Australia. It's the FA Hockey Pro League for men. Australia, the Kookaburras currently sit second in the world rankings, under 100 points off the top spot. Argentina currently down in fifth. They're not a million miles away from India, who have jumped up into fourth. India flying currently in the world rankings. Matthew Swan all smiles. Australia, of course, celebrating the achievements and the contribution of Indian, indigenous players in Australian hockey history today by wearing red, yellow and black kit. We've seen Australian women lose 2-0 to Argentina. Now it's turn of the men's section of the FH Hockey Pro League. Australia, the winners from 2019, sit in third place. The top five teams all have played six times. Argentina currently have won two. They are down in fifth position. Eight wins for Australia since 2013. Three wins for Argentina. No draws, which is totally different from the women's side of the action. Australia have won the last two. Two of the last three going their way. Their course won the Pro League 3-2 against Belgium. Now the Wagner Stadium. Mitten, Flynn Ogilvy and Blake Govers with the goals that evening. Don't forget Australia in 2014 in the World Cup semi-final. Argentina 5-1. Australia continued with success in the Netherlands. Argentina losing in the semi-final stages of that World Cup. They are reigning World Anthony, Olympic champions. Let's hear. Uh, big test Australian against the Olympic champs country. tonight. Um, another good challenge for your guys. Absolutely, mate. Look, really good team. Um, play a very unique way of hockey. Uh, they, they like to control a slow speed and, and, and out of nothing just play full tempo. So we, we have to... to to, to watch how we set up over long periods of time and get out when we get opportunities to get out of them really, really quickly. Uh, you made a few changes tonight. Welcome back a few boys after the India trip. Uh, what, what's the focus, I guess, for the lads tonight? Uh, team focus. We need to start well. And, and we've had a big emphasis on this all week. Uh, maintain long periods of possession uh, and create our opportunities and finish them today. All the best. All good luck, Potty. Thanks, Matty. Cheers. German, welcome to Perth. Um, how have the team settled in? Yeah, we're very good. It's a very nice city, so we hope to be uh, in a good way with this game. Yeah. You had some very good form, showed some very good form against New Zealand. Hope to continue that tonight. Yeah, we don't have a very good first game against New Zealand, but we we improve in the second game. So we are our confidence is very good, and we we will get this game also. Just finally, you've scored a lot of goals already in the Pro League. Hopefully, more of the same tonight. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's what we are looking for, being very, very straight, going ahead and trying to attack very more. Um, so it's better for the show also. <laughs> yeah. All the best tonight. Thank you very much. OK, thank you very much. Well, Gareth Greenfield on the left from New Zealand. Peter Wright, South Africa on the right. As we look at the umpires for this one, Argentina took one loss and one win in Christchurch, they come in off the back of a 3-2 win. Sam Lane couldn't peg. Luanus, the Lions back. Australia come to Perth off the back of a fine win, 4-3 against India in Bhubaneshwar. Then they lost 3-1. The shootout point went India's way after a two-all draw. Argentina are out first. Can they continue their winning ways in the FIH? Hockey Pro League this evening. They currently sit two places and two points below. Aaron Zalewski's team, he scored the second in that two-all draw in Bhuvaneshwar. And he leads the Kookaburras to the turf on an evening where Australia hockey celebrate the contribution of indigenous players to Australian hockey. Hence why Australia are not in their famous green and gold. Andrew Charter carrying the bag onto the pitch. Jeremy Hayward last to join. We'll now have the national anthems of the two teams here in the FH Hockey Pro League 2020, live from Perth. The national anthem for Argentina.
advance. Australia fair rings out in the Perth night. And Australia can find themselves at the top of the FIH Hockey Pro League with back-to-back -back wins against Argentina this weekend. Gareth Greenfield on the right-hand side. Peter right now on the left-hand side. From South Africa. Kelly Hudson up in the video. Empire's box. Ready for the toss. Zalewski and Abara. And Zalewski scored an all-important goal to snatch a point in the second match in India for Australia. Peter Wright will be relieved and shared a joke with Abara there that he didn't have to toss the coin this week. Tossed it twice last week and twice it went to Wright. Jamie chat Peter. Gareth Greenfield concluding. Proceedings, Pedro Barra, over 300 caps to his name, but the news this evening is on the other side as Eddie Ockenden equals Jamie Dwyer's record of 365 caps for Australia, the most capped Australian, and now Ockenden and Dwyer together. Ockenden tomorrow should become the most capped of all time. He starts at right back, Haywood, Dawson and Swan at the back four, Zalewski, Bill, and Sharp, who has been in fine form in this pro league. And then Wotherspoon, Ephraims, who missed, of course, that shootout effort against India up front with Flynn Ogilvie, who scored in the FIH Pro League final of 2019. A change in comes Welsh beat number 21 in place of Daniel Bill. For Australia, Argentina on the road. Argentina without the likes of Augustin Madzili. Leandro Tolini has done oh so well. The number 13 starts at centre back with Abara, the captain. Vivaldi as ever between the sticks for Argentina. Monia continues at right back. He came in in match two against New Zealand last weekend. Cecilio alongside at left. Ortiz, player of the match last weekend with a goal up front via Casea Falello. Goals galore up front from there, Maiko. Magnificent against Richard Joyce, scoring past the left ear of Joyce last weekend. Look out for the likes of Keenan and Dormen coming into the action. Katan got limited opportunities last weekend. There's the Australian bench. Well, Colin Batch, FIH Coach of the Year for 2019, the second ever from Australia behind the great Rick Charlesworth, who was the first ever Colin Batch, equally exceptional in coaching terms. Ermann Orozco, the Argentinian coach. Charlesworth, of course, and commentator in the 2018 Hockey World Cup. And coach of exceptional talents, accolades and qualities for Australia. Australia in the red, yellow and black. Emulating the fabulous efforts and history of indigenous players in Australian shirts. Argentina in the traditional blue and white for them. From Viet down the line. Sharp goes across to meet him. Beal is in the squad. Welsh has come in in the number 21 shirt this evening. Confirm who for in a few moments' time. Jack Welsh comes in. Lopez looking to find a ball down the line, couldn't do so. Quickly forward through Ferreira. Swan manages to get across and cut the line to goal out for Argentina. Lopez. Plays the game at his own pace. 
tackling from Zalewski, sharp. The cleanest tackle. Coming back from Ferreira. And this Australian crowd have been thrilled to see... The vic Sorry, not thrilled to see a victory, I should say, for Argentina, excuse me. 2 nothing against the Australian women, the Hockey Roos. And now it's the Kookaburras looking to get Australia's first win of the weekend. Ockenden, 365 caps to his name. Equaling Jamie Dwyer's caps record for Australia. Via, chase him down, chase him down is the shout. Frums goes across to do just that. Brother, of course, Leon. The match last week against Argentina. Penalty corner early on. Ortiz caught flat footed. What a holding role he had as he accidentally joins in the Australian high fives there. Holding role last week and an amazing goal against New Zealand as well. Sharp. Touch inside. of an Argentinian player. Argentina it's on the ice hockey style gloves to defend the penalty corner and the face mask. Zabara on the left hand side. Zalewski will pull out. Tom Wickham running, head banded from wide. Oh, and it's in! And it took a big old deflection. Jeremy Hayward, the man doing the damage. Well, it looked to me like there was a deflection in real time. Of course, Haywood gets the credit. Let's have another look. Went low, hit the runner. Nothing Vivaldi could do. one nothing to Australia. Huge deflection. Haywood won't care. Australia are in to an early lead here. And it's a regular... Goal scoring, offering from Jeremy Hayward. Scored in the opener, 2-2 draw against Belgium. Also a penalty corner in the second match of this year's FIH Hockey Pro League for Hayward. 1-0 Australia. Keenan recovered from last weekend's knock. Wickham goes looking, Swan can't steal the ball, Abara now. Fucking up of Zalewski. Domen. Argentina looking for an immediate response, Zalewski falls to the turf. Man who played for the Linger Lancers in the Hockey India League. The famous Kalinga Stadium. Cup of 2018 was played. Australia. Third. What we fancied to make the final. As Belgium won the final against the Netherlands in a shootout. So Lewski, just a little shove in the back from Dummett. Breaking down the plate. Zalewski in and out. Swan. Vast, vast experience from this Australian team. The smattering of younger players. Hashtag FIH Pro League if you want to have your say. Dan Beal finds Swan. Swan with the hit into the circle and it goes against. Relieved to hear. Pars whistle. Another spoon. Where's the number 26 shirt for Australia this evening? As he nears his 100th cap, the man from New South Wales. But 
believe it's pronounced. Tallini looking for the long searching ball. Hayward, the early goal from him separating these two teams. Australia in search of Belgium's top spot this weekend in the FAH Hockey Pro League. Hayward thinks about going the aerial route instead. Happy to play the ball around the back with Matthew Dawson. Now Swan, space to run into. Quickly closed down by Ortiz. Zalewski has Ortiz for company immediately. Picked up a bar. The rock at the back for Argentina. Domen with the break, just drops it off to Ortiz. He has support outside him from Augustin Bugayo. These two, of course, played each other in the final of the Hockey World League in Bubanesh Bubanesh at 2017. Getting Argentina's only goal. Now the chance, and it's a beautifully taken goal. And Tom Wickham for Australia makes it to nothing to the Aussies. And Wickham, the 29 year old, with his third goal in this season's Pro League. Quickly through to Wickham, who lifts it past for Valdi. He had the support of. Ephraim's on the back post, didn't need him. Delightful finish. Comes slapping home. Australia here are into a resounding early lead. Australia two. Australia in the red if you're just joining us this evening have not tuned in to the wrong match. It is Australia in their chain strip celebrating the contribution and impact of indigenous players to the Australian team over their history. All taken out and quickly back in. That's lifted. Move five, Tyler Lovell. And we're up in the FIH goalkeeper of the year looks on as Matthew Dawson. Zaluski's place at the centre of midfield, the number three. And Brand is in a battle. Once the free hit, there was no whistle. Eventually, there is. Brand stopped a little bit early as we see. Shootout miss. Not the only shootout miss though in Bhubaneswar. Lalit finished the shootout for the Indian team who have celebrated moving up to the four to fourth in the world rankings. Time Wickham penalised by umpire Greenfield. New Zealand umpires in Perth this weekend. Flick. Not dangerous to tie the level. B. Simmons. Quiet so far, since Australia have gone 2 nothing up. Beal. Ball down the line, Ephraims picks up. Nearly got the boot of an Argentinian player. It is caught napping. Australia, sharp, lifted ball to Wickham, reverse dick shot in fact was Phil Gilby. Oh, 
serious work from the Barbers in the Australian team this weekend. Ogilvy and Dawson both clearly paid a visit. Beal. Harvey, did he get pushed there? Yes, says the umpire. Jake Harvey breaks into the circle. Another look. Well, push in the back from the number 32, Martin Ferrero. Instead, it's gone Argentina's way. Cecilio, shot goal, delightfully taken down the right hand side. And it's Ferrero with the goal, the number 32, Martin Ferrero made the run. First time strike, Tyler Lovell. Nothing he could do here. Cecilio ball through. 32 is Ferrero with the goal. And he makes it count. Excellently finished. By Martin Ferrero. Lisa Pinokain, the Dutch League, former Lomas player until 2019. And he made his senior debut two years ago, and that's his second goal of this season on his 50th appearance. Score if you're just joining us here in Perth as we see Dylan Wotherspoon set up to defend the sideline ball is Australia 2, Argentina 1. Goals from Haywood and Wickham put Australia into a 2 0 lead and then a fantastic field goal from Ferrero. Now Casea! Oh, he goes for the flick and level. Diving down to his left hand side, but Casea right, would have gambled everything on him hitting this. Cutting to the reverse and hitting. Instead, he went for the flick. As back came Simmons. A let off for Australia. We're, we're under pressure. Sharp. Versatile. Loses possession to the goal scorer for Eric. Then he gives the ball back to Upland Sharp. That famous number one shirt of Australia. Jamie Dwyer's old shirt. 365 appearances he made. Eddie Ockenden equals that this evening. He can surpass it tomorrow against Argentina. Flick ball left to right into the circle. Simmons, because he was the defensive player, and there were players in the same zone. It went the youngsters' way. Team caps now. A player 24 years of age. Zanuski now sharp pops up in midfield. and here he is. Lovely slip ball. In corner. Wotherspoon in a tangle with Vivaldi. Okay, just checking that Vivaldi is OK. Maybe Ockenden, after all those caps, not lost any of his quality. Penalty corner. Just here. Asks a question of Gareth Greenfield, but not enough to review. What can Australia work from this? Penalty corner opportunity. Protective gear galore for Argentina. Boxes, face masks, ice hockey gloves. 
the lot. Haywood's there, flicking hard. We've already seen that today. Vivaldi knows all about it. Alongside him, the number six is Matthew Dawson. Zalewski injects Haywood. Again, it, it's an Argentinian player on the way through. This time, though, Vivaldi happy to see the ball. Platter clear. Cecilio did very, very well indeed. Both teams have their referral remaining. Lopez misses the foot that time. Via finds it and Lopez breaks away as Bill retreating, doesn't tackle, waits a long time. Tim Brand then steps in. Ockenden. Dawson. Oh, flashing in the circle. Now they... 40 years of age. How long has he got left? At the top level, Juan Vivaldi. We've seen this weekend and last. Satino. Goal for Argentina, youngster in the women's matches with no Belenzucci making the trip down under. Eight seconds left in the first. Australia have a goal advantage here. 2 1. Goals from Jeremy Haywood, Tom Wickham, and then Martin Falero. The delightful finish. There he is to make it 2 1. In the background, anyway. Dan Beale. Wanders in to hear what the coaches have to say. The Australian team have a narrow lead after the first quarter here in Perth. The FH Hockey Pro League equally amazing action. Hayward on four minutes, Wickham on eight minutes. Ferrero hitting past Tyler Lovell for 2 1. Well, this was how it started for Australia. Hayward, big old deflection. For Valdi, nowhere near. one nothing. Hayward scores again. After those goals against Belgium. Then. Ball found its way through to Tom Wickham. And he swept home over the onrushing Juan Vivaldi for 2-0, the perfect start, the dream start for all the Australians. Cecilio opened up the legs. Good skill to find his way through by hook or by crook. And that's him, Ferrero. Comprehensively finishing past a stricken Tyler level. Lovely little pass, Cecilio. Excellent from Ferrero. Getting on the end of it and finishing first time into the right-hand corner. Kaseya, should he have done better here? Have your set. Hashtag FIH Pro League. Tom Wickham off and running for this weekend. If Australia get back-to-back -back wins. They go top of the FIH Pro League. Lee frogging Belgium and the Netherlands. Next up for Australia. Way against Spain on the 14th of March. Argentina next up away against Great Britain. Olympic Park in London. Live here though, the Perth Hockey Stadium and in Western Australia. The Australians in red, yellow and black. Celebrating the contribution of indigenous players in this Australian national team over the years. 2-1 up against Argentina. Scored in that final of last season to take the win for Australia. Peaky blinders today. Moustache and... Back and sides, very short back and sides. Cecilio, first time ball, down the line. 
Excellent pick and roll. Kaseya moves it on. Finds support. Swan finds himself knocked off the ball. It's rare that happens. And then Ogilvy brings it away as far as Brand. And then back to Zalewski, who's happy just to recycle. Finding Wickham on the right-hand side. Excellently done. Past Bergeo. Swan. Pass to Via. They see the funny side. I'm not sure Via did. They caps now. For Juan Lopez. Simmons. Swan. Not the tallest. Can't find that ball that time in the air for the number 20 of Australia. Six champion trophies, unbelievable stuff. Missed in the shootout of 2018, Champions Trophy in the final. Australia won the shootout though, 3 1. Missed against Shrijesh. Matisse won that day. Lovely pick and drive from Ephraims. Down the line. For Argentina, Ferrero tries to cut back. Can't find a way. Ask the experienced Swan. Long way to go still in this first half. Barra. Australia can sit deep. Argentina happy on the ball on their own 23. Tolini. Not found a chance from the top of the circle so far. Ogilvy tries to find a way through, can't do so. Argentina, hat clear. And sharp there just to the ball back on the line for Matthew Swan. Oh, slipping his way through a challenge. And Sharp trying to get close to the free out for Argentina. Via. Excellently done by him. Aguayo. Nice ball from all the tears into the circle. Peter Wright seen enough against the run of play. Ockenden gives away the penalty corner. No arguments at all from Australia. Tyler Lovell just lifting his face mask to discuss matters. and co-captain of this Australian team with Aaron Zalewski. This now brings... say Leandro Tolini into play. Six goals so far in this... FIH Hockey Pro League, Amman Orozco, the head coach of Argentina. Looking on a message will have gone. It is Tolini, and it's in. What deception! Look at Lovell on the replay when it comes about. He went one way, Tolini threw it the other, and it's his seventh goal of the season. He goes beyond Pau Comeda now. Look at this for deception. Well, Lovell completely wrong-footed, and Lovell is an exceptional goalkeeper. You'll see better from this angle. Oh, it was a big old deflection. Nothing Tyler Lovell could do. The deflection, not deception for Tolini. He scores again. You won't care how they come. In real time, it looked like deception from Tolini. But like Haywards, it was off the runner. Australia 2, 
Argentina too. Argentina, the reigning Olympic champions, back alongside the reigning champions of the FAH Hockey Pro League Australia. From Kina that time. Well, once the Dutch played well last week against New Zealand. Hashtag FIH Pro League. How much are you enjoying the action of this equally amazing league as Australia gets its chance to host once more? Of course, no grand finals this year in the FIH Pro League. The Olympics to come very soon after. The league concludes at the end of June. Ball in, Lovell does well, still a chance, Lovell saves again, superb Tyler Lovell. The double save from him, keeping Australia from going 3-2 down. Well, that is why he was nominated for FIH Goalkeeper of the Year. The sweep from Gale, I believe it was. Lovell with the double save. Four Argentinian defenders lining up and stealing possession. Australia chasing back. Dawson missed out as it goes across to Harvey. Support for Ockenden. He loses the ball. That's a superb challenge. Absolutely marvellous from Argentina. And Ortiz breaks away under pressure from Harvey. Pops it back to Thomas Dolmen. Argentina happy to recycle. Well, the spoon nearest man to the ball for Australia in the press. A half-court press, just dropping the plus one out now for Australia. By that, I mean one forward going up towards the ball. We're used to hockey terminology. Brutal challenge, but legal challenge from Matty Swan. Simmons, Dawson, Australia more willing to play the ball forward early, Zalewski offering the space, Swan offering the space, lovely build-up play, Wotherspoon tried to hit the baseline, keep it in play, two all here. Times a slower match as Wickham steps in encroaching. Good quality goals in this one though. Swan will go across and pick up the pieces from the flick ball down the line. Ockenden, look at that, how good is Eddie Ockenden? Well, just as I say that, he loses the ball. Ibarra. Lovell, not willing to take a chance, boots it. Twin Tyler Lovell, club hockey with his twin brother. Over the years. <laughs> club Calamunda, five years of age. Played in hockey in the league for the Ranchi Rays. Swan finds himself at centre back. Calm under pressure, gets it back once more. Now Ferreira goes to try and just strangle the time that Matthew Swan has. Dawson dispossessed. Australia lucky to have the ball. Zalewski drives the centre of the pitch, finds Dan Beal outside him. That's very good from Ephraims. Quick ball across. Unable to get it goalwards. Fernandez. 
back and helping out. Barra just clearing things up with Gareth Greenfield. Argentina with under five minutes to go in the second quarter. Some pressure. Hacked across. Rand brilliantly moved on to the right hand side. Ockenden. Oh, just sneaking it through to Tim Brand. Zalewski back to Ockenden. Look at this from Australia. Two touch hockey, one touch hockey when they need it. Well, he'll be in support of Wickham, these two, with the bandanas on this evening. Dawson, this is just superb movement to the ball from Australia. Swan. Swan once more, one touch from him. Now Dawson steps in. Australia tantalisingly good. The turn, the tackle. And Zalewski steals it back again. Oh! Wickham diving to try and put that one home. Couldn't do so. There was some seriously good movement of the ball from Australia in that passage of play, though. Argentina, not just not able to live with Australia there, they didn't even want to go near the ball. It was moving so quickly and so crisply. The teams will take note of quality of play from Australia there. It is. Swan that time can collect the flick. Drift out three. Three out. Used to be known in hockey as a 16. Return to hockey for the first time in a while. Zalewski. Wotherspoon. Bouncing in and trying to find Tom Wickham who overran the ball. Or was it a poor pass? I'll leave you to judge that. And Wotherspoon though. Couldn't link up with his fellow forward. Two apiece. And two and a bit minutes to go in the second. Barra happy to slow the play down again from Argentina. Swanick picks up and drives. Right hand side, Harvey making headway for Australia. Ogilvy, his brothers play the game. And in history. Australia hockey. Couldn't quite control that time. Alongside Burton Heath at the 20. The World Cup in Germany. Indoor. Argentina. Can't get past Swan. Done then. Recycles. Lopez all the way back. And again, Argentina. Patient. Veer, very deep indeed. Short aerial from him. Well, that goes against Weir. One of those calls that could have really gone either way. Swan, what a challenge. Ruthie Swan today has been inspired. 51 seconds left to all the score. Hayward and Wickham making it 2 nothing for Australia. Guerrero and Tallini. Pegging. Australia back. Australia 1-1. One, one. Drew one in Bubaneshwa. Didn't get the shootout bonus point in the two-all draw there after Zalewski had pegged India back. 
Argentina coming off the back of a 3-2 win in Christchurch, having lost 5-3 the first time they'd lost to New Zealand since just before the last Olympic Games, which, of course, Argentina went on to win. It's Belgium. Belgium, currently world champions. Nearly half-time here. It's been a fascinating first two quarters of hockey. Pedro Barra wanders over for a conversation with the umpire. It's two apiece. Haywood and Wickham racing Australia into the lead. Ferrero and Tallini. Tallini with it. Another deflection off the penalty corner, making it two all. Via and Swan have a lot to say. Peter Rowe saying, come on, boys. You're too old for this now. And they continue to have conversations about who's right and who's wrong. No doubt the umpires will send Lucas Vieira away here. And the church looking on. Saw her earlier in the hockey ruse versus Las Leones match. And Lucas finally makes his way to the Argentinian. Changing room and the score in the FH Hockey Pro League at half-time. Australia 2, Argentina 2, Hayward and Wickham making it 2-0. Ferrero and the field goal, Tallini from the penalty corner. Penalty corner and a field goal apiece. The Kookaburras two, Argentina two, a half time.
Welcome back to the FAH Hockey Pro League 2020. Australia 2, Argentina 2. Hayward and Wickham quick out the blocks for Australia. A penalty corner for Hayward, a field goal for Wickham. Ferrero with a delightful field goal for Argentina. Jose Tolini made it to a piece. A deflected penalty corner, as was the way with Haywards. Let's have a look. Hayward off the mark. Another goal from him in the FAA Hockey Pro League. Big old deflection, Juan Vivaldi. Nothing he could do. It looked like the shin of the Australian runner. Jeremy Hayward will not care how it went in. Then, lovely long ball. He'll be tried to get it through. We did. Wickham, divine finish from him into the right-hand side of the net over the top of one. Vivaldi on rushing. And Wickham finishing superbly. Lovely skill between Fernandez and Cecilio. Cecilio plays it through. Ferrero away from Dawson. And Simmons trying to get across. The first time shot from Ferrero. You won't see many better this week. Lovely team goal, Argentina. Sam Ferrero with the finish to make it 2-1. And then Casella, well, I thought he would drag it reverse and hit that. He flicked and missed. Tolini flicked and hit the target. Lovell, livid, because it was a big old deflection. As you see here, he's looking to go the other way, which Tyler Lovell read. Commentary, I called it as deception. It wasn't, it was deflection for the second time in the match. Four shots apiece overall for both sides. Circle penetrations, Australia have held sway 16 to six. Possession 56% in favor of the host to 44 for Los Leonas. The Lions, penalty corners two to one. Both teams have scored one of them. We've had no cards so far in this one. Hashtag, uh, sorry, FAHProLeague.com is the website for all the action across the FAH Hockey Pro League of 2020 as we work our way towards the end of June 2020 to see who will be crowned the second ever champions. Well, last weekend in Christchurch, it was a perfect start from Sam Lane for New Zealand, finishing in style against Juan Vivaldi. Argentina wouldn't lie down, but they were forced to. As Dominic Newman slapped home past Vivaldi to make it 5-3, the first time New Zealand have won against Argentina since 2016, day two. Jose Tolini was back in action past Richard Joyce to make it 1 0 with under five minutes played in the first. 3 1 Argentina leading. Sam Lane back on the score sheet, squeezing home past Vivaldi's near post. Well, you shouldn't let them in from there, but Vivaldi did. Argentina, though, got the win. New Zealand, match one. Hope Rao, first ever international goal at senior level from her. Olivia Shannon to Ralph. It finished one all. Priscilla Jardel, cool and calm, slapping home to make it a bonus point, extra point for Argentina. Day two, Olivia Merry got on the score sheet very early on. Cosatino kicking into her own goal. And then Merry made it 5 3 as Mickelson found her. Pass Cosatino and into an empty net. 5 3, Merry got four, New Zealand. Picked up four points from the weekend. Well, latest matches in the FIH Hockey Pro League. Argentina men losing 5-3 to New Zealand, then turning it around, winning 3-2. That was in Christchurch last weekend. New Zealand won 5-3 in their second match. And then today, earlier on, Argentina won 2-0 against the Hockey Roos, the Australian women's. Anthony, what's the take on the first half? What have you looked to improve on in the second? Um, just on the regain momentum, we just got to hold the ball for a bit longer and be a little bit more patient going forward. We, we're creating good opportunities. We've just got to be a bit smarter on where we enter the circle. Uh, but exciting. Very exciting first half. Looking forward to the second. Cheers, guys. Chairman, um, what will the team be looking to improve in the second half? Yeah, I think we, we start a bit slip and they, they get the two goals very quick. And then we start building our game, and this is the game that we have to make. Be very tough at the defense and looking more more attacks. Be very effective. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Well, welcome back to the action here. The two teams taking to the field. They'll be back in action in just a few seconds' time. Tim 
Brand looking up. Ortiz, goal scorer last week, player of the match last week against New Zealand. Brand, young Australian. Player went to the World Cup 2018. Michael Kaseya. Nominated for the FAH Rising Star of 2019. Brandon Australia restart here in Perth, the Perth Hockey Stadium, welcoming the FAH Hockey Pro League. After Argentina women beat the Hockey Roos earlier on 2 0. It's currently 2 all here between Australia in the red and Argentina in the blue. Penalty corner and a field goal apiece. Australia had the lead. Australia in a change of strip today, celebrating impact and contribution of indigenous players. The Australian national team crossed in. Seemingly took a boot and will be an Australian ball from the left hand side of the circle. Wickham goes in search. Had the finger very much on the trigger but couldn't pull it that time. Stolen back by Argentina. Simmons, who has experience of playing his hockey in the English Hockey League with Doncaster. Oh, the whistle have gone. Been Wotherspoon hitting late. The Argentinians won't have been happy with that. And Brand as Argentina restart. Top of fear. He wins the ball back quickly. Ferrero, the goal scorer, drives on his reverse, cuts back inside. That is, or would have been, one of the best tackles of the day. Deemed illegal from Eddie Ockham. Ortiz into the circle. Mirko Casella clenches his fist as he picks up the penalty corner. Excellently done by Argentina, and it causes so much pressure on Australia when Argentina get the penalty corners because of the strike rate of Tallini this season.
to the running Tim Brand. Hacked away. Monty Gordon once more. Dawson retreats. Looking on. Oh, the post. Back it comes. Oh, tears. Oh, that flashed. Nicholas Villa, I think, came in with the open stick hit. We'll have a better view from here. Pops across. Sticks and it goes against Matthew Dawson. And to play Australia's way. Hashtag FIH Pro League. If you want your say on Twitter about the FIH Hockey Pro League, it's currently to all here. Saves once and then the whistle goes. It's a right. And Brand to a foul, driving the baseline into Vivaldi. Awesome. To the right hand side where Wickham just recycles Ockenden. Sternly challenged, and Keenan brings it away for Argentina. He's met by Harvey Ockenden, couldn't get the tackle away on him. Still Argentina and Keenan in possession. Poor pass then from him, Ockenden quickly to it. Now Lopez, a bit more of a wily character than the youngster. Oh, goes to ground. get possession. Just a little bit bad tempered at the moment, this one. The man from Hobart. Battling away for Australia. Eddie Ockenden. Like he's got all the time in the world, despite having two or three players around him. And his debut. 2006, Eddie Ockenden. And Via got the touch. Sharp trying to drive through. He's sent back to where the indiscretion happened from. Ockenden spreads the plate to the right-hand side. Slapped in. Now the break for Argentina. Simmons with the first tackle, but still lost Argentina coming forwards. Oh, and it's in the roof. That's an absolute rip slaughter. Well, the break was on. I believe it's Lucas Martinez 
23 it is Martinez. And yet again, Martinez finishes similarly to how Michael Kasaya did last week in New Zealand. Tyler Lovell beaten into the roof, it goes. Well, Martinez scored three goals before tonight in the FIH Hockey Pro League. He's made it his fourth of the season. An absolute stunner from Martinez. Australia have been pegged back. They were 2 nothing up here. Currently 3-2 down. Simmons that time. Ringwood in Victoria. Swan, Can Argentina extend this lead? A win for them would take them above Australia in the FH Pro League table. Would take them on to 11 points. It would take them alongside the Netherlands. Belgium still would be sitting pretty. Fear crosses deflected high away, safely done though. Again, Australia can breathe and take their time. They've got time here. Swan with a rare error. Beal. Zalewski. Swan. Embarrassment of riches in this Australian team. Harvey, full tilt. Brand can't avoid his boot. FH Hockey Pro League, 18 circle entries for Australia. Traffic, red and Range of Australia this evening. So this recognition of impact of indigenous players in the Australian team, hence why they're playing in a change strip tonight. Correction from earlier on, Joshua Simmons, I said played for Doncaster in Yorkshire, England, didn't play for Doncaster in Victoria. Apologies, Doncaster Hockey Club. Ferrero, goal scorer so far this evening. Made it 2-1, started this fight back for Argentina. Tolini, also a goal scorer. Ball down the line. Nicely picked up, Dan Beal. Swan. Zalewski always looking up, always in control of where the ball is going next. Hayward, Paul, that time, Via. No chance at all exposed. Another Paul, flick ball beforehand. Important touch from Jake Harvey. 
Marquez back to partner in crime Walters goes the way Matthew Swan in Australia Simmons and into the squad of course as Australia look to the huge boots of Knowles Turn from Finogelville, Ogilvy, excuse me, down the line, which is unsuccessful that time from Jake Harvey. Is he going to manufacture another victory for this Argentinian team? There's still a long way to go, there's still another quarter to go, there's only just over 60 seconds left though in the third. Simmons, pressure on. Weir, Sharp, three young, exciting players. Make that four. Jake Harvey. Ogilvy. Uh, did very well and then just threw it too far ahead of himself after the 3D skill. Control. Going to collect. Oh! Okay. Twenty seconds under that now to play in the final quarter. Sorry, in the third quarter here. Panic, Australian fans. There's still one to go. Australia 2. Kookaburra's number 2 in the world against the 5th best team in the world, Argentina. Both teams looking for an all-important win. Technically, both have the chance of going top of the table this weekend. Although Argentina would have to score a serious number of goals to do so at the moment. They find themselves 3-2 to the good, and they've come back from 2-0 down. Haywood and Wickham put Australia into the box seat. Ferrero, Tallini, and then Martinez with an absolute ripper. That's Tyler Lovell. That's to be honest, three. Kookaburra's two at the moment. There's one quarter to come here in Perth. Martinez's goal on 39, though. Given Argentina a lead to protect. One more quarter left to come in the FIH Hockey Pro League. Day one here from Perth. An exciting match. Plenty more to come in the final quarter. Well, the post was hit by Tallini. And then, lovely ball through from Demet. Martinez. Lovell made himself big. He got his arms up. Lucas Martinez just too good on the reverse. And for the second week in a row, Argentina score from the acute angle on the left-hand side. It's no wonder Martinez is smiling. The score against New Zealand last week. He does this week against the Aussies. No man Roscoe. What's he said to his team? How can Bergao and the... Argentinian 11. We were sent back for the fourth quarter. Control this one. Plenty of opportunities left for Australia as they look for their third win. It's the last quarter of this first match here in Perth between Australia and the shirts and Argentina in the blue and white currently has been Argentina who lead the way 3-2 they came back though from 2-0 down Haywood and Wickham Australia now Dylan Wallace says no hang on we'll review this and they can Australia looking for danger for an Argentinian stick 
Okay, looking for danger in the circle. Okay. The bar didn't seem to question that. But Kelly Hudson. Oh, yeah. Have a look, look at everything. Part. Up towards Dylan Wotherspoon. There. So is it dangerous? Is the question that's been asked. Kelly Hudson will give an answer. Well, it was lifted, yes. Was it dangerous? Is the question. Uh, danger. I have a decision. Decision coming. Peter? Yes. There is no clear reason to change your decision. Stay with the free head out. Australia lose their referral. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he he's he's lifted, yes, but he's not dangerous. Okay, okay. okay. Well, she says no. Sorry. Dylan mm -hmm. Spoon has lost Australia's referral for them. That's why the triangle underneath their name turns red. Argentina have theirs remaining. Australia, Delta Bloke. 14.32 left in the match and in the quarter. Australia haven't scored since the first. Great pressure. Magnificent pressure from Australia. Sharp finds Ephraim's inside the circle. Goes 3D. Excellently controlled by the Argentinian defender. Then hacks it clear as far as Dawson. Swan. Ogilvy swings. Zalewski into Vivaldi. Strips designed by former hockey room over Paris. And the first athlete to win an Olympic gold medal when the ladies won into 1996. Proud day. Australia and its indigenous players. 3 2. The men losing the, the hockey rooms earlier, losing 2 0. Argentinian women. Sharp. No way through. Swan has been everywhere once more for Australia. Forward it comes. Ogilvy. Zalewski. Swan. Right hand side from him. Ockenden. Ogilvy threads it through for Valdi there. Argentina have to be oh so careful. Cecilio, is he going to get himself into trouble here? They fade away from Jack Welsh, the number 21, who finds himself on the turf. There's been a green card. Confirm who it is in a second. Ockenden dispossessed. Via. Two players around him. Ockenden and Wickham no match that time. 
Herman Orozco almost on the pitch, the Argentinian coach. Lopez and Ockenden just pushing into each other. Lucas Martinez gets a green card. Lopez again, a walking pace. Lopez eating up precious Australian seconds. Look at the change in pace when Australia got the ball then. They went immediately to the legwork, which Lopez had taken to a walking pace. Weir. Slip from Zalewski. Haywood. Simmons. Cecilio trying to mark Matthew Swan. Australia and Jake Weir. To say it on the ground has to get out of the way quickly. Beal. Zalewski. Giant tackles and then gets clattered into. Oh, and it's in, it's flashed in, and Jack Welsh is celebrating. Well, fantastic stuff as the ball came across for Valdi's goal. And Welsh. Swan, what a dive, what a goal. Absolutely marvellous stuff. And it's in the top corner for Jack Welsh. He was late into the lineup for today, taking the place of Kurt Lovett. And Jack Welsh gets on the score sheet. Excellent deflection on the backhand from him. 3-3. Three, three. Welsh nearly steals once more. First goal of this season's FIH Pro League. Picked up one last year against New Zealand. Delightful finish that though. Now Swan. Whistle goes. The crowd not happy, but it is judged to be against Australia. 3 3, 7.50 to go. in there, it's then packed on to Lopez. Simmons goes looking. Kaseya very cleverly done. Swan went across, committed himself. Kaseya drills the ball into him for the penalty corner. Now. 
can Marotsko's team get back into the lead. Fighting back from 2 0 down. Tyler Lovell has had a good game so far, despite the three goals conceded. And he knows here that Tallini is the danger man. Already on the score sheet once today. Seven goals in the FIH Hockey Pro League of 2020. Tallini, deflection, crunch clear, Weir can't collect, Ferrero. Sarah and Haywood clashing. Argentina. Game management once more comes to the fore. Ibarra. Pace picked up. Oh! <laughs> well. Like, a, like an opening batsman. Joshua Simmons wore that on the body. Not nice. Ibarra didn't mean to do it. And Simmons absolutely wore that, and he'll know about that one tomorrow. Oh, that was not the cleanest tackle in history. Bank Stadium here in Perth. Harvey, in and out it goes. Strong tackle from Ogilvy once more. Now Argentina can break. Casaya all on his own, Simmons outpaced, but goes physical and does well. Lifted in, Dawson equal to it. Three three. Are we in for another shootout in the FAH Hockey Pro League? Last time Australia took to the field in Bhubaneswar, the Kalinga Stadium, it went that way. India, having drawn the match with Australia, took the shootout bonus point. Argentina have been on the wrong end of two, both against the Netherlands, both in Buenos Aires. The Senard. Ferreira, good 3D skills from him. Greenfield, having any of it. Having a 3D skill. Ockenden, using his 364 and a bit matches of experience. Lovell flips the ball away and then it's continued onwards from the Australian defender just in front of him, Simmons. A good game this evening. And hit against Ferreira. Sharp. In and out of this one this evening. Okay, Sharp. Kaseya. Into Ortiz, who couldn't avoid his own body. Ogilvy. Beal. Pace. Back onto the forehand. Three Australian players. Eventually, it takes Ogilvy's foot, and now the break's on for Argentina. Kaseya. He hasn't got many players up with him. What can Mako Kaseya do from here? Into the circle, back. Excellent angles from him, and then the drag back from Ortiz is off his boot, which, of course, is not allowed in hockey. Would have been a delightful move had he been playing alongside the likes of Lionel Messi, but not alongside the likes of Mako Kaseya. Drag back that from Ortiz. Australia, rebuild, Hayward. With an early goal. Weir. Swan. Tint lifted in. Argentina. Very physical this evening. Both teams tend to enjoy a physical game. Nothing particularly bad natured about it, just physicality. Go, 
Hamilton has picked up that green card after the goal as Tagayo tries to play it into the circle. Swan. Lopez has been superb for Argentina. Tries to find Ferreira. Ockenden. Wickham. Strong performance from him this evening. Dawson. Ignore the cheers. There was no touch inside the circle for Australia. Time ticking away in the fourth. Just over one minute left for one of these two teams to get a winning goal. Otherwise, it's shootout time once more in the FAH Hockey Pro League. Just remember, the match will finish recorded as a draw. The shootout is purely for a bonus point. It is not to win the match. It goes down as a draw. The winner of the shootout gaining a shootout bonus point. Hayward. from Australia, just outside 20 seconds. What the spoon! It's crossed it. Oh, it's gone against Jack Welch. That's a goal he scored earlier on to level this up. Can't do so that time. Argentina, no time is too short for them. Barra, this masterful team at reducing a game of hockey. Well, if he played it earlier, maybe Demen would have had a chance. Ockenden and Demen just smile and tap each other on the shoulder. Australia have fought back here from 3-2 down to take this to a shootout. Matthew Dawson, a strong showing this evening. Ockenden on his 365th appearance for his country. Aaron Zalewski leading the team out though this evening. Led the team with Hayward and Wickham putting them 2-0 up as Dan Beerlin. Matthew Swan, the Argentinian players, Ferrero, delightful field goal from him, Tallini with a drag flick, Martinez put Argentina, 3-2 half, and then Welsh with his first goal of the season. A magnificent deflection. Finishes a draw, Australia 3, Argentina 3. Confirmation of the scorers ticking through there in the FH Hockey Pro League. Welsh's goal on 52 minutes, pegging Argentina back. A point apiece guaranteed, but who can take the bonus point on the shootout? Well, this is how it went down this evening. Hayward, deflection, passed for Valley, 1-0, Australia, early stages. Then, Wickham lifting it past Vivaldi. A magnificent finish. The player on his 53rd appearance for his country. Scoring another field goal, did so against India. Ferrero, what a finish that was after Cecilio's run. Takes a lot of doing to score past Tyler Lovell, especially with the ease that Martin Ferrero finished with first time there. Then Tallini, huge deflection as you'll see from this angle. Lovell. Beaten, nearly got his stick to it. That would have been some save. Martinez, have a look at this from the angle. Not many beat Tyler Lovell from there. The roof of the net clattered. Lucas Martinez, who scores once more in the FH Pro League after a quiet weekend in Christchurch. Swan, Welsh, 
in between Cecilio and Ibarra. Delightful for Valdi, beaten excellently by Jack Welsh. The top corner of Vivaldi's goal, rippling. Australia three, Argentina three. Who will take the shootout efforts? I will continue, I will confirm, I should say, very soon. Hope you're enjoying all the action from Perth. It's Australia. Closing out their fifth match on home soil, the Liga course. 20 venues in 11 countries will host this year. It's spread across multiple time zones, six months played. 16 of the 18 competing teams feature at the Tokyo Olympic Games course. Now, Ephraim's there. We saw a moment ago to see Tyler Lovell missed against India recently. It's this season, double headers on each weekend, splitting home and away now across two seasons. So that means next season will be Argentina's turn to. Host Australia. We wait for the action to begin, of course, against India in Bhubaneswar. Harvey, Brandon, and Ephraim's all missed. Dan Beale, the only scorer that evening, as Harman Preet, Vivek Prasad, and Lalit Upade. Bad shootout goals. And of course, FIH Rising Star of the Year. India took the bonus point that evening. Boot Bosso comes in. Interesting. Juan Vivaldi is not in goal instead. In comes Emiliano. Bosso, 24 years of age, had four caps before today. Ogilvy with the first. Has he got the Calmness to make it 1 0 to Australia. 108 caps to his name, 26 years of age. Debut here in Perth against India. Waiting to be allowed. The strapping on his ankles. Fusion for Flynn Ogilvy, Miliano, Bosso in goal. Ogilvy this way, that way, scores it. Very good from Flynn Ogilvy, making sure. Lovell against Ibarra. Scurrying, Tyler Lovell, Ibarra. Make sure, one all, playing for a bonus point in the shootout. Lovell making a lot of noise as he came out there. Ibarra, this way, that way, and through the legs. Now, number five, already scored in the play. Tom Wickham, can he make it 2-1 to Australia? We wait to see, Bosso. Oh, now. Yeah. 
Well, so went to ground. And it went against Australia. Wickham missed. It remains one all. Via. He scores. Lovell. Wrong footed. Via makes it 2 1 Argentina. Well, Lovell thought he was going to spin and go strong instead. Via outsmarting Tyler. He can only now look on. Simmons steps up. 2 1. Simmons. Oh! He's missed it. Bosso down low. Australia have missed two in a row. Goes the reverse. Great save, Bosso, although not the greatest shootout shot ever from Simmons. Rushing. Emiliano Bosso. Argentina. I think their other goalkeepers some chance this weekend. Ortiz, player of the match last weekend. Can he make it 3-1? Yes, he can. There it is. Argentina unflinching. Australia have two left to come. But it's 3-1. Mr. Swan is under a touch of pressure here. The 30-year-old, does he feel pressure, Matthew Swan? Over 200 caps to his name. Missed against Srijesh in the Champions Trophy 2018 final. Australia went on to win it. He can't miss here. Bosso rushes. Does he feel pressure? Well, he's missed this time. Bosso with the stick save. And Swan resigns himself. No referral. Now they decide to refer. I'm not sure they're going to be allowed to. It took a very long time. And by the amount of time that Swan took, you know, that was a magnificent save. How Bosso got back across. Wow. Australia, after Ogilvy's goal with the first, have missed three in a row. I'll look for you. They're being allowed to review. Now Swan reacted completely neutrally after the miss, which tells me he didn't think anything was there. But Kelly Hudson is the one with the say. There is no reason to change your decision. No reason to change your decision. Look at this, and Bosso gets back across. How does he do it? Just avoids it being a back stick as well. No, no. Says back to Tim. Yeah, but that... Nobody's ever called that in any, huh? any game. Ever. Well, that's it. It's done and dusted. Matthew Swan continues his questions of Peter Wright. It finishes 3-1 to Argentina in the shootout. They take the bonus point after a three-all draw in the match. Emiliano Bosso is the hero. Well, stepping in. And he saves... Three in a row, Wickham, Simmons, Swan, unable to beat Bosso. Argentina boss the shootout, which gets him an extra point. Australia three, Argentina three. Argentina take the shootout, one goal to three. With misses from Wickham, Simmons and Swan. And it's Bosso that does the business for Argentina here in the FH Hockey Pro League. Well, as the crowd stream away into the Perth evening, they've enjoyed the comeback from Australia as Jack Welch put them back onto even terms, three all, but Argentina make it count in the shootout. Ogilvy started them off so well, manoeuvring Bosso to score past him. Barra and Lovell 
Lovell making the noise, Abara keeping his head. Wickham scored in open play. There, deemed to have infringed. Via, very clever. Outmaneuvered Tyler Lovell and then Bosso made the save from Simmons. Ortiz put it home. And Swan, who'd had oh, such a great match. Look at this from a save from Bosso. How he managed to get his stick back the right way round is beyond me. A fine save. The plaudits go to Emiliano Bosso. The bonus point goes to Argentina. After a three-all draw. Argentina, after a win and a loss last weekend. Finally, get a shootout victory this season after back-to-back -back shootout. Losses against the Netherlands at home. After it finished two-all twice there. And now going to go down pitch side with player of the match for his goal in open play, Martin Ferreira. Martin, congratulations, the player of the match. Very exciting game. Martin, felicitaciones con el jugador del partido. Muy buen partido. Muchísimas gracias a todos. Thank you very much to everyone. Uh, it was a very hard contest and made you work very hard to come away with penalty shootout win at the end. Fue un partido muy difícil. ¿Cómo fue tu visión del partido? Sí, es un partido muy complicado. Ellos son una, son una de las potencias. Y nada, lo tenemos en la zona de los Juegos Olímpicos y hay que meter a todo ritmo para, para ganar el partido o empatarlo, que, que nada, estamos de visitante y es muy, es muy complicado. Australia es un equipo muy difícil. Argentina está en preparación para los Olympics y Australia está en nuestra zona. So this is a very tough game and we did our best. Very good. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Muchas gracias y nos vemos mañana. Nos vemos mañana. Thank you. Congratulations. Very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Martin Ferrero, player of the game, player of the match this evening. As Argentina take the shootout win 3-1 Ferrero with that fantastic field goal. Cecilio set it up. Ferrero finished it first time. Matthew Swan, we're going to hear from for Australia. Very nearly, as player of the match himself. Missed in the shootout, but what a performance from Swan, setting up the third goal for Jack Welsh. In the end, though, for Australia, they have to settle for one point. Let's hear Matty Swan. Matt, really exciting, entertaining game tonight. What would you make of it? Uh, yeah, I mean... We started off very well, uh, let them get back into the game and let them get in front and um, we were able to come back in the fourth. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't come away with a win, uh, something that we really need to work on is shootouts. It's becoming prevalent in today's game and, and we, need to, we need to be better in that area so we can come away with wins rather than uh, draws and losses. Congratulations on your own performance. You missed out in the games in India. How did uh, you feel out there? Yeah, it felt really good being back out there with the group. Um, yeah, stoked. Stoked that I can uh, be out there tomorrow with Eddie uh, when he makes his milestone game. And um, yeah, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a good feeling. And I guess one of the best things about the Pro League is the fact that you get to come out and have another crack at them in less than 24 hours. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we, we pride ourselves on being able to back up and, and hopefully we can come out tomorrow and put a better performance on the park and, 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 uh, yeah, and, and give them a touch up. Well, you put on a good show tonight. Look forward to seeing you. Hopefully the result's better tomorrow. Yeah, thanks. Uh, quick shout-out to my um, PwC fan, my, my wife, and, um, and all, the, all the people that came out today. Awesome. Yeah, Cheers. That's Swan thanking his family, his friends for their support. And that's how the table has changed. Australia up to second, 11 points from seven matches. Now Argentina now to 10 points. They sit one place off the Netherlands. Belgium still have a three-point lead. That could change, of course, tomorrow. Australia could, if they get enough goals, go top. But Argentina picking up the extra point today from the shootout after the three-all draw. They're now two plus two from their goal difference. And they'll be back against each other tomorrow here in Perth. Jose Tellini out on his own now. Hero leading scorer. Seven goals all from penalty corners. Pau Comeda has one from open plate. Five from penalty corners. Six on six through Pinder. Has five, Yip Janssen five, and Lucas Martinez with that rocket today. His fourth of the, of the FIH Hockey Pro League.
all of them coming from open play for Lucas Martinez. FIHProLeague.com, the place to go if you want to know more about the hero leading scorers. Upcoming matches, well, tomorrow, men and women between Australia and Argentina, then next weekend, Australia and Europe as they take on Spain. Belgium men and women go to Germany, 19th, 26th of March there. And then Great Britain start their home campaign. Of course, the FIH Pro League following the sun, although it's not been very sunny in London recently. Argentina head there in the middle of May. Hopefully the weather will have warmed up by then. A great match between Australia and Argentina. It finishes three all. As Australia fight back through the third goal from Jack Welsh. Australia lose, though, the shootout bonus point to Argentina. Emiliano Bosso, the hero for Argentina. Australia, Wickham, Simmons and Swan all missing. Argentina, after a three-all draw, get the bonus point in the shootout. 3-1, Ibarra, Villa and Ortiz with the goals. Back tomorrow for more in the FH Hockey Pro League.